Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the UK Government's proposal to drastically cut the number of job centres in DWP offices across Scotland and in the UK, including my constituency of Inverclyde, will have a profound impact on thousands of people desperately seeking work and the support to which they are entitled. It is an insult. There has been a distinct lack of consultation with the communities affected and with the Government in Scotland. That lack of consultation is against the principles of the Smith Agreement. Can the Minister explain to me why no consultation took place before the announcement of the closures? Furthermore, my constituency of Inverclyde, the proposal is to close Port Glasgow Job Centre and make people from Kilmacomb, Port Glasgow and east of Greenock travel miles to access DWP services. Disappointingly, this model has been replicated across the UK. This is an utter disgrace and could push vulnerable people further into crisis. What with added travel distance and costs placed upon individuals, many of whom have little or no readily available funds to pay for that commute? Therefore, what assurances can the Minister provide my constituents in Inverclyde that they still have readily available access to job centre and DWP services? This should be far more than a spreadsheet exercise. I would ask that the Minister puts people first. Many job centre staff work hard to build good working relationships with the service users. They are aware of specific issues and needs. Can the Minister guarantee the service users the continuity and quality of those working relationships? If the Minister is so certain that these measures are required, will she at least halt the measures until a full equality impact assessment is conducted? and a full consultation at all sites have taken place, and if not, why not? Minister Noakes. Uh, lots of points to reflect upon there. I think, most importantly, what we want to see is service delivery to the claimants, and the Honourable Gentleman was right to focus on claimants in his constituency. As he will be aware, claimant count in his constituency is down by 39%, but I believe it's critical that we seek to maintain that relationship between work coaches and the claimants that they have been working with, which is why we will be seeking to replicate that when work coaches are moved to a new job centre. And of course, claimants will have the ability not necessarily to go to the job centre that falls within the catchment allocated by us, but to choose the one that works best for them. As we have, as we are very conscious, many people in employment already travel significant distances to work. Uh, we are making sure that where the where the changes fall outside the ministerial criteria, there is a public consultation, and we will be using that to reflect upon our public sector equality duty, which we take very seriously indeed. <laughs>